So in 2006, I think it was September 26, 2006, I was in a crash. Great battle, Brian. Oh man, it's gonna be a good drag race. for the points lead as well. Oh man, oh, a huge hit right there. Doug Foley with a violent looking crash here has destroyed the car. The entire front end completely ripped off of it. Okay, um, can race for years, but they'll always remember the crash. So, um, it was a race in Toronto, Cayuga, and um, we were actually leading the points championship. So to us, it was an exciting time. It was the first time that we were thought we would have the opportunity to dethrone Clay Milliken, six-time IHRA world champion, and we were gonna take that championship home with us. And um, qualified you know, pretty well, don't remember the exact details, um, but uh, <clears throat> Sunday morning it rains out. So, uh, and if I am correct, I actually think it was a race that was rained out previously already. So, um, Monday morning, we go up there, we're gonna run. Um, actually had my teammate first round, um, and um, I don't recall who I had second round, to be 100% honest with you, but uh, that was a really fast pass. Uh, my guys had really kind of read the track properly. If I remember, it was a fairly cool day, and um, we had set, uh, I believe it was the mile an hour record in Canada as far as drag racing goes. And it, it was a good run, went real fast. And, and, and so we were setting ourselves up for lane choice over Clay Milliken in the final, which was definitely going to help us moving into the last two races, which was MIR and Rockingham. And um, it went up there, never thought the difference. You know, when you have a strong car and a strong crew, you never think twice about anything that's going to happen. Um, and it went up there and it, it just totally surprised me. As soon as I stepped on the gas, it shook violently to the point where, you know, it was nothing I had experienced before. I had experienced tire shake to, to it had multiple concussions in the past. But uh, this was one that literally what I'm going to say is knocked me out. Okay. Um, I believe my eyes were open and all of that, but overall mentally, uh, you know, I, I went, I went uh, dead for a short period of time. Um, and, um, you know, it was just one of those times where it just, uh, you know, went, went across the center line, stayed accelerated, which still can't really come to terms with that. I look at it and I say to myself, wow, there was a million ways to prevent that. But, you know, you can never tell what your mind's going through or what your body was. Maybe I thought I was bracing, um, bracing myself while uh, keeping the throttle down. Who knows? But uh, went across. Thank God I missed Clay. Um, and uh, hit the wall, flipped over, uh, went all kinds of crazy stuff, broke the car in half. Um, it was just a mess. It really was. We went from going into that round thinking, wow, we can gain another 10 points and be 27 points ahead going into these last two races, and um, ended up losing whatever it was, a quarter million dollars in prize money, uh, out for the season, broken bones, um, and lost a quarter million dollar car. So um, it was definitely one of those things that, you know, I mean, you, you, you look at it, it happens. Um, there's probably no other way I would have gained uh, a couple hundred thousand views on, uh, you know, uh, on YouTube. So uh, I guess that's my claim to fame, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to try and move it towards maybe winning some races and winning some championships instead of uh, <laughs> having that incident. But uh, it did happen, and uh, it's one of those things that fortunately we were able to live through and, uh, and just kind of grow from. Oh, <laughs> oh,